seven past the hour. Joining us now, and I thought there was going to be an all brawl on the set. It's going to be a fight. Democratic <laughs> Congressman Carolyn Maloney of New York and Republican Congressman Pete Sessions of Texas. The Congresswoman, of course, supports Hillary Clinton. The Congressman wants Against. the IRS to invest uh, to investigate Hillary so Clinton. So let's go. We're oh, going to go for three and a half minutes. No, <laughs> you guys both together for a very, very noble cause. Yes, Tell us are. about it. Yeah, we are. Well, we, we've joined uh, forces to work for monies for breast cancer research. It is the number two killer of women. 40,000 women a year die of breast cancer. And uh, we're going to create a coin that will not cost the taxpayers one cent and raise up to possibly eight million dollars for two extremely worthy organizations, one in New York and one in Texas. And tell them about, tell us about Susan Coleman, Dallas, Texas. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, almost a billion dollars worth of research on breast cancer. We can turn the corner and we believe working together gives them more money and a focus for the American people to no, know that Congress does care about yeah. breast cancer research. And the Breast Cancer Research Foundation here in New York that has raised uh, 58 million dollars last year for breast cancer research mm. and has a very uh, less than one dollar of less than a dollar of every dollar raised is uh, spent uh, on any type of administration. What? So it all goes into research. What brought both of you to the cause? Was yes. it personal? Was it politics? Was it science? It's really the right thing to do. This is a killer of people. 400 men a year die of breast cancer. But it's a women's disease, and we've got to do the right thing. Susan Komen has been a, an amazing foundation. You watch them once a year run all through the streets of America. They're talking about a cause, a mission, and a purpose, and we're working together to get us Congress so, do the same thing. So it, it's frustrating, though, still, Congresswoman, when you read one study after another. One say, in mammograms eight. work. Mammograms don't work. You, yeah. you try something else. That one week you read something. We still, with all of the research and all of the money, we still don't know the best way forward with detection. We, we are making progress. Detection is improving, and the coin will raise awareness so more people will go to their doctors o over lumps and suspicions in their health. And, and uh, what is between us and a cure is money. The federal government uh, supplies a great deal, hundreds of millions, really through the National Institute of Health. Yeah, but, but how how raises... is the funding on NIH right now? Is it pretty steady, pretty solid? Funding on NIH is just like the rest of government, and what we're doing is we flatten that out, and we flatten that out because we were borrowing too much money, right. and so we've got to do the right thing. Now, let me answer there your question. There was a place you should invest, though. It's in research, yeah. and this coin will Let me answer that. your question. The bottom line is paying attention to physicians and a woman seeing her physician and following that advice is the best thing that we can do. And we need to empower more doctors and more women to ask questions and good research. And we care about making not just the cure available, but for every woman in the world. Do you have a call to action for our audience? What can people do? Well, they can encourage uh, their members of Congress. We have 300 that have signed on to our bill. We, we need some more. Make sure that their members of Congress have uh, signed on to the Breast Cancer Research Commemorative Coin for BRACF. Well, what's on the coin? Well, it's going to be a competition. We're going to have a oh, competition. Well, a nationwide competition. For the best design, we're going to design it, and we're going to bring a coin back to both of you, because I am sure. I love it. Working like it. together, we're going to pass this coin, raise money for, for, for breast cancer research, and find a cure. That's All fantastic. right, Congressman Carolyn Maloney and Congressman Pete Sessions, thank you very, very can, much for being on the show today. Can we invite you guys back when you all fight each other? Yeah. Is that you okay? Know, <laughs> about we do that enough. It's never no. personal. We do that We do that on the floor, but we're yeah. friends we just want to do well enough to get invited back, and then we'll create. Oh, you guys are going to come back. No Thank doubt you so about much. it. Thank you. We go, we go way back. Way, I know you back. do. Yeah. You tell? He's we worked here. He was leading edge then, and he is now. And we watch him from the gym every morning, and you too. Oh, really? And the Democrats That's, you don't absolutely. like cover half the Democrats. No the Democrats watch too. They they like you. Oh, oh, don't say that to him. Okay, <laughs> it's all right. And you know what they say? They they look up. They go. And to think that I used to work with that jerk. <laughs> they did not say that. I know. He, he would be the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. Mac Thornberry from Clarendon, Texas is now. Yeah. Joe Scarborough was a cool, fun guy, but cares about what I'm wearing today, and that's peace yeah. through superior firepower. And, oh, and right. I, think, I think that makes America feel cool. a lot safer about the decisions that I have made over the past <laughs> 20 years. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Still that sounds like a great idea. Thank you, yeah. Carol. On to passage. On to passage.